So we're gonna have a government shutdown. About nothing. 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 Tra la la. Nothing. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. Barring a unforeseen and extremely unlikely last second deal, the government will shut down this weekend. That's great. Yep, the most insane elements of the House Republican conference are at it again, refusing to pass any legislation that will fund federal government's work. Isn't that literally your job? So what does this mean in practice? Here are some examples. Federal workers will be furloughed with no pay, but those employees whose work is deemed essential will be asked to stay on the job with no pay. Among the essential workers, air traffic controllers and TSA officers. What could possibly go wrong? As a result, air travel is going to slow down, and some of these workers choose to call out sick or take vacation so they can work a side hustle that actually pays the bills. DC museums and national parks all over the country are going to close. Thousands of young kids are going to lose access to their Head Start preschool program, and student aid will be disrupted. Governance! Governance! That's just a short list of the real world impact of the shutdown. So given the stakes, you'd think the politicians that are forcing the shutdown would have good reason to cause this pain. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to figure out what MAGA Republicans even want to get out of all this. Some of them want budget cuts. Others want Joe Biden to be impeached. Some want to make sure that we stop funding Ukraine's defense. Others just seem to want to watch Kevin McCarthy cry. I can understand that. This isn't really even an ideological dispute about the size of government between the two parties. A huge majority of Congress is aligned on funding existing government programs plus emergency hurricane relief and Ukraine. The Senate supports this with a big bipartisan majority, and at least some House Republicans agree and think their colleagues are kind of crazy. That is accurate. Here's New York Republican Mike Lawler. This is not conservative Republicanism. This is stupidity. And Nebraska Republican Don Bacon. Let's make these five to ten people irrelevant. They would vote against the Bible because there's not enough Jesus in it. Oh, that's what's different about this looming shutdown. In the past, these fights have been about substantive issues where the parties couldn't reach an agreement. Take one example, the Tea Party Republicans in the 2010s. They might have been extreme ideologues, but at least they had an ethos. They had a clear objective, major budget cuts, and they got a lot of what they wanted in the form of something called sequestration. I think I've learned something today. But this new crew, they just want to see the world burn and get a handful of hog during Beetlejuice the musical. Kevin McCarthy understands this. He said as much like Last week. This is a whole new concept of individuals that just want to burn the whole place down. It doesn't work. But here's the problem. The only fireman who could stop this arson is McCarthy himself. But he's either too weak or too afraid of his own MAGA colleagues to do it. He could end all this craziness, make sure government workers got their paychecks, and move on to real issues if he was just willing to tell the MAGA Republicans in Congress to pound sand and instead worked with the Democrats and the remaining normal Republicans to keep the government open. Is that so much to ask? Actually, yes. But if he does that, he's worried that the far right could rebel and remove him as speaker. So instead, we're stuck without a functional government government until either the MAGA freaks fold or Kevin McCarthy does the right thing. I'm not holding my breath. Well, we're boned. See you next time for more Not My Party.